Welcome to Tinkernut.com's videocast. Please submit any requests or comments to Tinkernut.com. In my last tutorial, I showed you how you could add subtitles to movies. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own subtitles uh, to add to movies. And the tool that we're going to use for this is called Subtitle Workshop. So just do a Google search for that and click on the first resulting link. And then on their website, click on the Downloads link and then click Subtitle Workshop. Then just select a mirror to download it to your computer. And once it's through downloading, just go ahead and run through the automated installation process to get it installed. And it should automatically start the program. So the first thing you want to do is go to Movie and Open and select a movie to add subtitles to. And I'm just going to select Cloverfield. Then once you get to a spot where you want to add a subtitle, click the Add Subtitle button and then at the end of it click the End Subtitle button. And this uh, subtitle section is only a couple seconds long and at the bottom you can see I'm typing in 642 AM which is what he says. And so it's only going to flash on the screen for a couple seconds. And of course you want to do this for the rest of the movie. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and save it. And you got a bunch of different options, but uh, for my video player, I'm going to save it as a subrip file because that works the best for, for my video player. So now I'm just going to open up the video, go to File, Load Subtitle, and select the subtitle file. Now, once I get to that portion of the movie, it's going to show the subtitles as it does there. All right, now if you're not sure what they're saying in a movie and you want to find a movie script, here's a cool website uh, to find scripts for movies. It's called simplyscripts.com and you can just browse through their archive of different movies or TV shows and it will pull up the script for that movie. And you can use that as your subtitles. All right, that's it for this tutorial. For more, go to tinkernut.com.